Oh, yep. This is lab three, Mueller matrix polarimetry. So one of the main fundamental process, uh, concepts for this uh, lab is polarization. Polarization is basically the orientation in which the electric field of light is traveling. And we can describe it based off of the position and orientation using one QA sphere. And using that knowledge of the orientation for the polarization, we can send that light into a retarder, which will change the orientation of the polarization based on the ordinary and extraordinary axis in the crystals that make the wavelength. The reason that these concepts are important are because we want to know about like what direction our light is coming through our optical systems at, and this is important for optical communications because different polarizations can be used to uh, reduce interference of data. And we also want to know about how our phase is changing, uh, which is important for getting those specific outputs that I was talking about and for modulating signals. So from previous classes, we learned that polarizers are effectively filters. We can get linear polarization out of these and at any direction that we need for our application. So one of the significant results we would like to highlight about this lab is the cornstarch um, phase plate. Um, we thought that it was closest to a quarter wave plate um, based on the Mueller matrix output. Also, there were a lot of bubbles, so that caused error, so we couldn't tell exactly which orientation it closely related. Additionally, with this lab, we were able to produce left and right circular polarization by using a quarter wave plate, a linear polarizer, and another quarter wave plate. Um, just by changing the orientations of these wave plates, we were able to change the polarization of the light. Wave plates delay phase, and in doing so, change the polarization output, and they do not have as much die attenuation as um, polarizers. What we ended up liking from this lab was whenever we were setting up our wave plates and getting different polarizations out of there, what we didn't like is how this was pretty much a two-person lab, because it was only software and hardware, not really much that can be done in between.